Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Frank Trinkle. I'm also known as Elf Chef. On this channel, we do a lot of cooking. I review and test and do other things with various different kitchen and culinary appliances. I also talk a little bit about gardening and show some products that we use in the gardening and how to grow various different things for veggies and other stuff that we use here in the kitchen. But most importantly, tonight, I'm gonna to be teaching you about this awesome machine complete and total German engineering and precision. It is now coming to the United States. I've been working with it for the last four months and I am absolutely blown away by this guided cooking system. So stand by, cause we're gonna talk a lot about this and I'm actually gonna cook a meal in it as we go. I'll be right back. All right, so what am I talking about exactly? I'm talking about the Thermomix TM6, which is the latest iteration of this company's unbelievable development of a basically guided cooking method that does so much more than virtually any other appliance on the market today. It has been in Germany for 50 years from the time that the very first sort of blender heater was developed by the company and has gone through a number of iterations to uh, about a year and a half ago when the TM6, which I'll be demonstrating tonight, was released. It has generally been only available in Europe and Australia and a few other places where it has sold well over 10 million uh, uh, it, of these particular appliances. But in the last year or two, it has finally come to the United States and it is selling unbelievably well. As people are discovering this unbelievable guided cooking method, and realizing how much easier and faster it is to cook foods that are repeatable every single time you cook the same meal, as well as doing away with half the appliances in your kitchen, it is, it is tremendous. Now I've had this machine for about four months and I kind of got it because I've looked at some other various different appliances as a chef and you know, it's, some are good, some are not so good, some are kind of overblown and whatever else, but I gotta tell you, and I'm deadly serious and honest with this, this appliance, this guided cooking machine has absolutely blown me away. I have been cooking on it almost at least five or six times a week for everything from making cocktails to lunches to quick meals to very extravagant uh, full dinners. It does it all and it does it well. It has many, many functions. And tonight we're just gonna cook one thing that's a, easy to do, kind of give you an idea of exactly what this machine is capable of. But before I do, let me go up and, and show you a little bit about uh, what this machine actually is. And this mealtime reimagined is, is for real. That's, that is a good thing. You have to really see this machine to believe it. It's an all-in-one multi-cooker. It has many functions, which we'll discuss uh, as the cooking goes on. Um, it, it, is, it has a recipe uh, addition to it that basically has almost 80,000 recipes from around the world, all guided cooking, all with step-by-step -step telling you exactly what to do. Uh, there's a, the, the system also uh, acts as a scale, so if it says add 10 grams or four ounces or whatever into the mixing bowl, it will weigh it as you go and then re-tear, which is setting it to zero for the next thing. And you'll see that tonight. Now, I do have to say, that this is truly a time saver. Uh, there's no question about it. If you're, if you're having to prep and, and get pans ready and heat up pans and heat oil and do this and do that, and then have to clean it all later, piled up in your sink, this appliance is going to do away with that. Trust me on this. Uh, it is connected convenience because it's Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi system on the Cookie Do, which is the recipe system, is not only available for you to plan on your computer or your iPhone or your iPad or, or other device, but it is also connected directly on the faceplate of the Thermomix, which is this large touchscreen control panel, which is just perfect. When it says mealtime managed here, it says basically you can plan a whole lot of meals in advance throughout the week by using cookie dew and know exactly what you're going to cook. And not only will it show you every of the, all of the ingredients that you need to have for one particular meal or one particular dish, but it can also create a shopping list so that you can go to the store once in a week. You've got the week planned out and you know exactly what you're going to need to make all of the different uh, uh, meals that you're going to be doing that week. It, it, it's unbelievable. 
And it's so easy and so fast that it's easy to just be, uh, you know, hey, I feel like cooking something right now, getting on the machine, cooking it. It, it's self, it has a self-cleaning mode. It's easy to clean. Most of, the, most of the components are dishwasher safe. It's phenomenal. I'm telling you, it's unbelievable. It is the best guided cooking system on the planet. So let's, uh, let's go back to um, me right here. Hi. And uh, I want to show you just uh, uh, as we go, I'm going to, uh, once we start cooking, I'll show you some of the other components and other things. But I want to show you what we're going to be making tonight. This is in the cookie do menu system, and it is called mushroom stroganoff. And it is easy, fast, and oh man, is it delicious. My wife absolutely dreams of this stuff and can't wait for me to make it regularly. So as I go down here, this is the way that the, the recipe shows up on, on the computer. When you start going down, it'll show you the various ingredients. It kind of looks like other menus that you find all over the, all over the internet, except that it tells you exactly the preparation. It's telling you what it's going to be telling you to do as you go. It gives you all the nutrition values, tips and tricks, uh, and then you can add it to a, a selection of menus. Maybe there's a lot of, of, of recipes you find that you'd like to cook regularly. You don't have to keep searching for them. You can just go straight to them. The other great thing about this, this is, is that um, if, you, if you say you have a hankering for, um, I don't know, let's say, um, zucchini. How about that? So this has a search function, which is, is, is just simply awesome. So let's, let's uh, back out of this a little bit. Let me go out of this. Um, my, my system's a little bit slow tonight. There we go. So in the search function, I'm going to reach over here for a second and I'm going to just type, what did I say? I said zucchini, right? Uh, uh, zucchini. So you see zucchini pop up there, and when you do, look at all of, it comes up with all these other things. Let's just look at everything that we can see on that. So we just, we just hit search on zucchini, and it comes up with, uh, I don't know, just an absolute mess of recipes that use zucchini either as the main ingredient or as, as, uh, as an ingredient in, in a full serve. Look at this. This is just, this, I have never typed in zucchini before. <laughs> Look at that. It's just endless. All of these different things. So if you see something there like this thing, what is that? Long rise pizza made with zucchini. And once again, you come up with all these things that are just uh, easy to do. All right. So I don't want to hold you up on and keep you here all day. So let's start cooking. I'm going to go back to, um, to my main menu here. Uh, if I can get to it. Let me see if, if, where we are here. Uh, okay. I'm going to pause for just a second. All right. Well, that was a short pause. I just I was on the I was on the wrong screen. <laughs> All right. So I'm back. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about uh, this system. This is what it looks like when you're sitting in the in the front of it, sort of, kind of. And then uh, I'll be talking to you over here occasionally, and then I'll be showing you what I'm doing here on my table, and I will give you the overhead view of what's going on in the machine after each each particular event is happening. So let's take a look at the touch control panel on the front of the Thermomix. When you click the three lines at the upper left, you get the basically to home and you have a number of options there as you work through the system. You have my recipes, which will take you to all your different recipe categories and other things. You have my week, which is basically when you can set out all your recipes for the week and you can instantly get back to them right there. Recently cooked, if you've cooked a couple of meals, two or three meals in the last few days or whatever, you can always return to them just by clicking reverse or uh, recently cooked. The settings is for setting up the Thermomix and being able to set things like Fahrenheit or centigrade and weight measurements if you so desire. And the help menu gives a lot of help features that you will find uh, from Thermomix on the operation of various uh, different components and functions of the machine. This is a very highly uh, uh, capable system that is completely Wi-Fi. It connects just the same way that it does on your computer, and you can look up recipes, which we'll do in just a moment on here. It is really fantastic the way that it works. As I click these various things, like uh, my, my uh, recipe things, I had a selection of various different ones uh, or groups that I've set up. This particular group, I had the recipe that we'll be doing today in there. It's the mushroom stroganoff recipe. I've already looked this up on the internet and on uh, basically on the system. I've looked at the various ingredients that I need, and I've had those purchased. 
they're ready to go and all I have to do from this point is start cooking and we're going straight to the first thing that it wants is 10 grams of fresh parsley leaves and we'll add those right now. Take notice of the tear button down at the bottom. That will set the scale that inside the mixing bowl to zero. You can do it any time that you have the top off and you need to weigh items going into the uh, mixing bowl. So just always tear before you use a weight scale. Once a particular measurement and addition is done, we will basically go and set the next button and look what happens there. It says insert the measuring cup. So this, this middle part is actually a kind of a measuring cup. We don't use it very much, but it is the top for the, the, uh, the lid. So here we are once again on the dashboard, if you want to call it that. And I want to point out exactly the first brown circle there is both for a weight scale and for time. The second one is setting centigrade or Fahrenheit. And the third one there is for the actual function that you are selecting or that the machine has selected for your particular uh, selection. The dial is how you turn things on. And for example, three seconds at part eight on the, on the turbo is going to spin and chop those parsley, parsley uh, leaves just really quick. Three seconds, it's already done. And all you have to do is hit next, and it's going to say transfer to a bowl is set aside. It has basically just minced it all, and what I'm going to do is use uh, this, this spatula that comes with the system to basically make sure that we get as much out of here as we can. It's pretty dry, but and just get as much as you can out of there, but that's all you have to do. And what does it say next? It says one garlic clove. Well, I happen to have one garlic clove, so all I'm going to do is drop that in there and and then go next which is going to be adding 200 grams of onions quartered and this will mince them beautifully here's a quick tip on peeling and cutting onions you have the root and you have the top uh, whenever you're cutting an onion and you want to do it on flat or cut it in half or more you want to make sure that the root section stays intact so cut the top end there and then if you want to cut it in half or a quarter or whatever, just cut it down the middle. That makes it really easy, I mean like super, super easy, to peel this onion without the tears, without the hassle. And right there, we are done. Check that out. It's, it's all done. Now it wants me to add 200 grams. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off, now this part I am going to take off the root, and I'm going to just, I'm going to take... Um, and cut this into a number of parts. Does not have to be minced. You don't have to do any of that. But I do want to weigh it out just about right. So here's what we do. I'm going to go back to the control. So as always, we want to tear first so we get to zero grams. And then we're just going to add uh, these cubed onions and bits of onions until we get to a full 200 grams. And once we get there, we'll be done. So we've reached 200 grams, and then we go next, and the next thing is just adding 30 grams of unsalted butter that's been diced. So we'll do that. And with, or the, uh, the lid with the measuring cup. Now, I want you to watch these two items on the side here, because what's going to happen with these is it's a safety device, and it's going to lock the top on so that it stays on while anything with those blades inside is happening. So here we go. It's only going to take five seconds to dice these onions up and ready to saute. So all we have to do is make sure that we've confirmed the time. We've confirmed that there's no thing and we spin the wheel to five seconds and we are basically done. And let's take a look inside the pot and see what we have. And that opened up automatically for us. And there you are with it just completely minced everything. So it's probably going to tell me I believe, yep, it says, it's going, it says, and this is how it does. So I'm just taking this with the spatula and just taking it down the sides. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just have to get it down. And, and you know, I mean, if you want to see, you know, I mean, I mean, check this out. But you see, this is just really finely minced and it took, what, eight seconds? Did it go, even go eight seconds? I don't know. I think it was five seconds. Unbelievable. So, all right. So now I'm going to put that back on. Uh, we scrape down the sides. We're going to insert the top in the measuring cup in the mixing bowl. And here's what's going to happen now. 
For this purpose, it's being set in um, to 120 degrees centigrade, and that's going to allow us to basically saute the onion. And then we're going to spin that up, and it's going to start for three minutes. I'll pause it now, and I'll be back with you in just a minute. All right, so we have about two minutes left, and I wanted to come back on because I wanted to share with you that uh, one of the things that's great about this system is that while it's cooking like this, you don't have to worry about watching a timer or, or you know, uh, doing other things. You can take the things like I did just now with my spatula, which needed a little bit of cleaning, and wiping off my, my cutting board. And it allows me to keep up with everything that's going on so that I never have this great pile of dishes and pans and pots and, and implements. Everything can kind of be going along as we go. So let's see how close we are. We're down to a minute and 20 seconds. And once that's done, we'll see what's next. And I'm guessing that we're going to start adding some really cool stuff as well. And there's one thing I really want to show you that this machine makes in order to use for things like this, which is simply awesome. All right, I'll be back in a minute. All right, there's our fancy music. So I'm going to go next on here and see what it says now. It says, add 600 grams of fresh mushrooms. Okay, and I'm going to talk about that just a little bit. I uh, really like using um, these baby Bella mushrooms. I like them better than the white mushrooms. They're, they're, they're really, really tasty and they're awesome. But even like white mushrooms and most other crown head mushrooms, a lot of people don't realize that these stems have virtually no taste. They're, they're almost worthless, yet they're sold like this. They obviously add weight, which with the price includes the stems. The stems can be used if you save them for making um, mushroom uh, like stock. If you want to use a mushroom stock or a mushroom broth, um, you can use that with, especially with mushrooms that are about to go bad. So, you know, the easiest thing to do is just take your thumb right, or your thumb and your forefinger right in the middle of the thing, pull it out, and it's ready to go. The only real preparation that this particular recipe desires is that it wants sliced mushrooms. So I will go to my control panel here, and I will show you exactly how this starts adding it up. You'll notice that the, the, uh, it needs to be teared, so we tear and it goes to zero. So here we go. We're just gonna start adding, and there's a lot of them, so we're gonna just keep going in. All right, All right. that's good. Next. All right, once again, it wants us to put the measuring cup on, and we are going to hit next. Now it wants five minutes. I wanna spin the button. And now you see this, uh, this spoon in a circle there. What it's done is it's automatically selecting it to stir now. So every, every time there's something, you know, that it's, that it's causing it to do, whether it's, it's mixing or chopping or grinding or grating or uh, stirring or fermenting or um, uh, cleaning or all these other things that this particular machine can do. The system is made by a company called Verworks, and it's the Thermomix system. And Thermomix is, is a German company. This product is made in Germany, precision engineering, all German product. There's no Chinese or any other kind of, you know, um, cheap, cheap product in it. It is well made. This company has been in business for 135 years. They've been making basically various different culinary and other products for 135 years as family owned. It is a rock solid business. It is the fourth largest direct sales company in the world. They only sell through direct sales and through independent uh, Thermomix consultants. And that's to ensure absolutely that the customers who buy this machine, absolutely the best customer care, they know what they're getting, the, the company stands by its promises. It is, it is truly an amazing company. So the way that you get this is by going through a consultant. I happen to be a consultant and you go to the consultant's link and that will appear, if you're watching this on YouTube, it will be at the bottom uh, under the description. If you're watching this on Facebook, it'll be in the first comment um, along with uh, some other stuff. Additionally, if you're kind of not sure about it or whatever else, my link will take you to a lot of information about the Thermomix. You can read everything you do, watch a bunch of videos, uh, and then watch demonstrations. But we also do cooking experience. So if you really want a one-on-one -on -one or one with you and maybe a couple of your friends and guests in your house, if you live in the Dayton area, I can do it in person. If you are, uh, if you are away from that area, we can do it by Zoom, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, uh, directly, and I will cook 
and show you a cooking experience based upon a recipe that you pick out, out of our, our numbers, and we'll do it online. Beyond that, if you own a Thermomix, you can actually become a Thermomix consultant as well. There's a training program, and it's absolutely one of the best I've seen. You know, I'm a chef, but I, I jumped on this because it, I really love cooking, and I love sharing this with, with everybody. I mean, it's, it's the, the ability to share my love of cooking with a machine like this is a fantastic experience. It has been phenomenal. Now, the company introduced April the 1st this year, 2022, a new program for incoming potential consultants. And that is that you don't have to buy this machine either on finance or in cash. You can actually earn it with a little bit of your time for free. And what that entails is getting, putting down a, a small deposit on the system and having your credit card on file. And if you sell with your friends or whatever, show them and you sell four of these over a period of 90 days from the time you get the machine, you're getting this free. If you only sell three, you'll get a very deep discount. If you sell two, you're still getting a discount. If you sell one, you're still getting a discount. So no matter what happens, even if you sell one, two, three, or four, you're going to get the machine for free after four or a discount uh, as you go. Now, the other side of that is, is that once that is done and you own your Thermomix outright, whether it's buying it outright in the beginning or earning it, as this program is stating, you can become a Thermomix consultant and share this, this program with your friends, with your, with your acquaintances and others, and earn commissions from Thermomix. It is not MLM. It just has no downline. It's, it's your deal. It's, a, it's your business, and it's easy to do. You sell this machine. You'll make commissions. The company has trips. They have just went to Arizona. They're going to Mexico sometime in the next few months for uh, people who perform really well uh, together. Uh, they have gifts and giveaways and other things. It's a fantastic company. Um, so if you're interested in that, I have another link down below. It's uh, called register uh, dot uh, and then the information, thermomix.com and the consultant name. And you can find out about that program as well. All right, we're coming up on about 18 seconds now, and uh, we're going to continue cooking. And like I said, you know, this is a half hour cook at the most uh, after prep, so it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, the one thing I wish is I could change that music. <laughs> All right, it wants 20 grams of tomato puree. And that's enough. So I got 20 grams in there. What's next? Now it wants 40 grams of white wine. Oh, yes. I have some Sauvignon Blanc here, and I will add that. Yes. All right. All right, what do we got? 80 grams of vegetable stock. All right, we've got our 80 ounces of, of water in there, and now what I do is I'm going to put in a large heaping tablespoon of the vegetable paste, vegetable stock paste that I make, and a half a tablespoon as well, which is roughly what you would use. It's about one heaping teaspoon for, for 16 ounces, and this is about 24 ounces of water at 80 grams, so um, that's about right. All right, what's next? One and a half teaspoons of Dijon mustard. So what's next? Once one teaspoon of fine sea salt. One teaspoon. Next is going to be eight minutes at 100 degrees centigrade, which is actually, if you don't know, 100 degrees centigrade is 212 degrees Fahrenheit, which is boiling. So let's go ahead and crank that up. It's going to stir it through and it's going to cook for eight minutes. And I will come back to you when we have about a minute left. All right, while we have some time, let me talk to you about a few of the other things that come with this machine, not just the mixing bowl and the, the lid. So we have a splash plate that is used for some things that keeps things from, uh, from bouncing up through. It, it'll call for it when it asks for it. There is a blade cover for when you're doing things that you don't want to be down into the blades, like slow cooking or, or, or easy stirring of foods that you don't want to get right down there. Or sous vide, meaning that you can put a, uh, a, a vacuum bag or sealed bag down into a water. It'll keep it at a particular temperature. If you don't know what sous vide is, we'll get into that in other, in other videos. It has an insert here that is, um, that is inside. It, is, it, it basically will cook like rice or whatever inside the mixing bowl while you may be cooking other things or other sauces. It has a whisker, and this whisker does an amazing job of whisking for making sauces or or things like hollandaise sauce or, or, or things like that. And then we have the Varoma. And the Varoma is a two-tiered 
two-tiered steaming system, which means that you can actually put this on top of, uh, it fits on top during certain cooks, which is guided, and because of the liquid that's in it and the heat that's being produced, you can actually cook, say, salmon or vegetables or asparagus or a number of other things by cooking on, on this system either uh, and just setting it on. It'll tell you, again, it's guided cooking, so it'll tell you exactly when, where, how, what, and uh, and and wait, so it, it's fantastic. All these things come together in the system. There are some other uh, components and accessories which are available. One is a hot and cold serving bowl. It is insulated. It'll keep food uh, or hot or it'll keep food cold for up to an hour, which makes it perfect for serving or especially when you're making things like pizza dough in this system and, and uh, it's a great bowl to let the dough rise um, or, or um, you know, to proof as you're waiting for uh, the time to put it in the oven or whatever else you're doing with it. All right, we're down to 10 seconds left and I think there's one more step before we're done with this meal and we'll be ready to serve. So let's see what she says. And it goes, scrape down the sides. So we'll do that. 10 to 20 grams of lemon juice and I will add that by tearing as we always do. Now comes 100 grams of double cream. That's heavy cream, so we'll just do that. That's going to make it saucy, which is what we want. All right, there's 100 grams. And now it's going to say, insert the measuring cup in the mixing bowl. Put it back on, and then we're going to go 30 seconds. Uh, and that's it on a quick stir. Just that simple. All right, so we're there, and now it says next. It's going to be finished stirring with a with the hand with the spatula. It wants us to stir this up. Uh, let me go to the overhead. So I'm stirring this all in nicely, and then serve immediately. We can use rice or not. We don't use in rice today. We're just eating it, it just as it is, and so all we have to do then is pull it out. And we'll take the spatula just to make sure we get the right amount of mushrooms in here. This is serving for four, by the way. So there's that. If you let it sit for a little bit, once it's in the bowl, it will thicken up a little bit. Um, if you are, are somebody that doesn't like soupiness, you can always add uh, in there a little bit of flour um, in, the, in the mixing cycle. We take a little bit of parsley. We put that, just uh, sprinkle it on the top there. And what we have is, uh, in the end, is this beautiful, tasty meal. There's your mushroom stroganoff. And just so you think I'm not trying to poison anybody, oh, here we go. Mm. This is really awesome. It's worth cooking. It's worth getting this machine just to make this meal. Oh, it's, it just, the flavor just, man, it just expands in your mouth. It just, it's fantastic. And all made in about 40 minutes, 45 minutes from start to finish, prep to stop. If this has interested you in all, and you'd like more information about uh, this appliance, the Thermomix TM6, it's the latest version, Wi-Fi, 80,000 almost recipes that you can cook with it. A new firmware update of just a couple of months ago now allows you to create, take your own recipes, maybe your, your grandmother's favorite apple pie filling uh, recipe, and create the recipe which then can be put into the guided system so that not only you, but anybody that's using your Thermomix or somebody that takes the same recipe and adds it to their Thermomix can make it exactly the same way. I'm done for this particular cook. In the comments below, if you're on Facebook or, or under the description, are some links that you can go to to get more information. If you have any questions at all, you can DM me on, on Facebook or you can look for my email up in the About uh, in, on YouTube. I'm happy to answer emails or comments. Feel free to subscribe um, and you can click that bell and you get a notification whenever I post a new one. It's going to be at least weekly now that COVID has, has basically down and we're able to get out and about. We'll make a lot more of these, not only in the Thermomix, but other, other cooking items and, and, and teaching some cooking skills and other things as we go along. 
So thanks for coming and we will see you in the next video. Cheers.